How about let's do another car video? It's been a while. So this is our 2017 Audi Q7, and these are notorious for squealing brakes. Now, they're worse when it's cold, which it's obviously cold right now. And this thing's been driving me nuts, so I'm ready to get it fixed. The thing is, you can't fix these without this special little socket, which I bought on Amazon. Thank goodness. I'll put the specs on screen and I'll put a link in the description on how you can purchase one. So on these calipers, they've got a very special uh, fastener holding the top and the bottom of these. Now these are pretty good size six piston calipers So we had to have that special socket. You can see how those teeth look in there It's not something you're just gonna have laying around in your toolbox if you're a regular shade tree mechanic like myself <laughs> Anyway One thing I also found since it doesn't sit very deep onto that bolt You're probably not going to be able to use like a regular 3 8 ratchet like I'm used to using. So I put a half to 3 8 reducer on this breakover bar. And that's going to make all the difference. Now what if we broke it loose with our breakover? We're going to put it back on our 3 8 socket. Our 3 8 ratchet. And just get these babies backed out. Pretty long winded. Have a faster ratchet. Yes. Pretty long winded bolt. We've got these massive brake pads on this German engineered, or should I say over German engineered uh, brake system for an SUV that usually soccer moms are going to be driving in the States. Anyway, they do have a technical service bulletin where there's a clip that goes in this opening. I don't know if you can see that. It goes in this opening similar to the clip you see in there. Uh, I've read mixed reviews, whether those work or don't, or they, they thought they worked for a while, but then they didn't. But my theory is they only worked for a while because while they took them apart at the dealer to install those clips, they blew and cleaned things out a little bit, which the harmonics is what creates this squealing. Obviously, there's plenty of brake pad here, and you're a long way from replacement. I say a long way, you're quite a ways from replacement. Anyway, the most important thing here is to clean the brake dust off of these and put some kind of perhaps silicone brake quiet on the back side of these brake pads and that tends to solve those kind of issues that people have. So that's what we're going to do. By the way, if you're not keeping a bunch of zip ties around, you're doing it wrong. You got to have these things. We tie up this brake caliper uh, to the top of the steering knuckle because it's got the brake line itself we want to protect and also the ABS line. Um, you want to make sure you don't tear that in any way. So support this thing, then you can get in here, remove these brake pads with one hand. Not as easy as I make it look. All right, oh, and there is where that wire is tied, which is probably an actual brake sensor to tell me when it needs the brake pads replaced and that's why it's indented right there so we're just going to leave that hanging where it is we're going to blow this brake dust off with our compressor and our nice little wear your masks people and then we'll put some of that brake quiet on the back side of these shoes now here's one of our brake pads sitting out here on the workbench if you will now ideally you'd remove this metal backing and then put your brake quiet or what we're using is this ceramic glide these things are less than two bucks a package one packet would do probably all four um, on the, each axle if you will I bought an extra packet just in case but I mean if you're not doing this for a living you don't need an entire tube of this product because 
it'll take you years to use it. And I don't like things sitting through too many winters and summers and temperature changes because I feel like it's detrimental to the chemicals that you need to, to work properly. So basically, since these are non-removable, you can see how they're basically like riveted in there. We're just gonna put a light coating of this stuff on these near their contact points and kind of spread that around. Also, it's important to put it where they're going to be making contact with like the metal tabs that these actually slide in as they are being applied and then released, they back off just a little bit. So basically it treats it like a lubricant, if you will. And then this will just essentially just be almost like sound deadening to an extent to where these little metal plates don't get a bunch of harmonics involved um, whenever they're cold, especially, and create that terrible squeal. So we're just gonna spread a thin layer of that around and again, coat it on the areas where those are gonna move inside those metal tabs in the caliper themselves, which are like these guys. So they'll slide inside these and I'll put that coating in there. So these contact points can move freely. And it prevents them from binding. Anyway, we'll get these handled and reassembled on this axle. So I've got these uh, lubed up, if you will, back in the caliper and got the caliper set back on this rotor. And I wanted to point out that I will probably use a little blue Loctite as I typically recommend or blue thread sealant or medium strength thread locker. Be careful about all your copyright names there. Just put a little bit on these threads. A lot of times you'll see a factory thread locker of like a cream on these bolts, which I didn't see any on this one. And because they have that funky head that I don't want to tear up, I'll just put a little bit of these on there and then should be fine. They won't back out. All right, it's time to test drive this bad boy. See if we did any good. We roll these windows down, get some better audio. There we go, hold your breath. Parking brake was on. Oh yeah, I hear it still. One time. This used to be non-stop, just constant as you backed out. But not this time. Hmm. Just gonna go slow. Stop. Nothing. Nothing. Seems to be pretty good so far. So we may have this fixed. Well, it'd be really nice if it did. It's kind of ridiculous to spend almost $70,000 on a car and it have brakes squealing when they're at half wear. Super annoying in parking lots. This shouldn't exist to be honest with you. So anyway, we're gonna see how that goes. I'll give you another report back if in fact the brake squeal comes back. We'll take it apart. I'm not sure we got it coated the best we could have uh, on one side because it had problems with one of the brake caliper bolts, which maybe someone has been in there before and cross-threaded it. Not 100% sure. Anyway, as always, this video was not sponsored by Summit or Snap-on or Brake Quiet or JB Weld, but it could be. See you next time.